Whoa! Woo! 360, baby! Intentional! That's how you know I'm a gamer. We're gonna be seeing how PewDiePie, one of the biggest YouTubers in history, makes his Swedish pancakes. If you don't know who I am, my name is James Makinson. I've been cooking for many, many years in the United States and over here in Europe. And if you do happen to enjoy this video today, then be sure to give it a like, give it a share, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. Now, let's get started. Oh, today we're making Swedish pancakes. That's right, American pancakes. <laughs> What is this? Disgusting. Well, they're not that bad with some butter and maple syrup, but still, American pancakes are very different than, say, more European style or crepe style pancakes. They're much bigger, thicker, and they're much more filling. We also tend to eat them only for breakfast, so we don't tend to eat them as a savory dish, whereas with crepes, you can. Swedish pancakes was one of the first things I learned to make in terms of cooking. <laughs> It's very simple, anyone can make it, and all of a sudden you will realize these are the best pancakes you could make. All the other pancakes fail in comparison. Isn't that right, Marcia? Mm -hmm. She says yes. C'est pas possible versus the American pancakes, and now I think he's even including crepes. I'm hunching over because I'm so tall. Look at this. So, <laughs> God damn it. All right, eggs, flour, Marissa says we can use protein powder as flour. Oh, muscle gang. I wouldn't do this. I mean, you can, obviously, but they add, depending on the mix that you're using, other components, whey protein, whey powder, and everything else to it, that it's just not going to be the same. If I didn't know any better, I would say that PewDiePie has been watching Vikings. He kind of has the whole look going. He has the beard, the tattoos, and he keeps going. Oh, feels illegal. Uh, butter. Yeah. Salt, milk, and then you put the jam. Marcia puts <sighs> Nutella on her pancakes. This is probably one of the hardest things for me to accept with our marriage that Marcia wants to put Nutella on. You put jam! You put jam! You should try one. Stop shaking the camera. <laughs> Now, Nutella is pretty popular, guys. Let me know down below, what do you normally put on your Swedish pancakes or your crepes? Nutella, jam, something else? The best thing about this recipe, my dad taught me this recipe. Because my dad would cook his uh, pancakes every uh, Sunday. And his mom would cook uh, pancakes for them every week as well. So it's a Swedish tradition. And Swedish pancakes often get uh, mixed up with the crepes. Yeah? Mars says, oh, you're making crepes. No, no, we're not making crepes. You never said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, people think Swedish pancakes are crepes, but they're not. That's one discussion I don't want to get involved in, but I am interested to find out where Swedish pancakes actually came from. Did they come from France or were they made up completely without any influence from the French? Uh, the recipe is from actually, my dad said the recipe is from like a Donald Duck magazine recipe. Did you guys read Donald Duck? I know the Swedish epic thing. Yeah, you guys don't know what Donald Duck is, right? <laughs> The recipe is so easy, because you can remember it in your head. So 100 milliliters is one deciliter. British people, I hate you, why do you do this? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna skip the protein one. Uh, it's too complicated already, I'm, my brain is confused. <laughs> okay, two deciliters of flour. Bang. These are not deciliters, so I have to adjust it. Bang. Anytime that you're baking, it's very important to make sure that the recipe is accurate and that you follow the measurements accurately. And by weighing the flour, instead of measuring it by volume, it'll be more consistent because if you take that little spoon and you dig into the flour, what can happen is you will compact that flour and it will actually be more than what you may need for the recipe. And then the measurements are gonna be off. Two eggs. Can you remember that? Two, two, bang, bing, bang, bong. One. Edgar is watching this with great intent. Good thing Uncle Roger is not reviewing this. Normally you mix all the dry ingredients first, but then you also crack the eggs separately. Why crack the eggs separately? It's easier if you have to take out any eggshells and in case the egg is bad. Oh, you're making Swedish pancakes? That's my favorite. I love Swedish pancakes. They're not like those French crepes and those crappy American ones. Thank you, Edgar. 
Thank you. I did it all in wrong order. Oh god. Uh, ah, frick it. We'll just do it like this. Next up, we get the milk. I don't usually drink milk, but I, I want to be true to the recipe. So four deciliters of milk. So two, two, four. That's all you gotta remember. Wait, so this is 250, so I want four. Yeah, yeah, I'll do a little less than two. Why are you laughing? 250. Four. Yes. Yes. A little bit of salt. It's important not to forget the salt. I usually just do like that. Okay, that looks good. Bam. Now we whisk this baby. I can tell it's been a while since he's made this recipe and it happens to the best of us. It happens to me, it happens to other chefs as well. And this is why whenever making a recipe, even a simple one like this, it is very important to write the recipe down and to reread it while you're making it, especially with baking or with pastry because it's easy to forget. I remember my dad always whisking like this and I was like, that's so cool, I wanna do that. Make sure you whisk it properly. Look at this technique, my dad would be proud. My grandma would put uh, sour milk instead of regular milk. I don't think you have sour milk in UK, but it's really good. It sounds gross, but it's good. Sour milk, interesting. For all my Scandinavians watching, please write down below on what sour milk specifically is. Is it a little more like kefir? Is it fermented? Does it have probiotics? Is it liquidy or is it a little on the thicker side? I have no idea what he was just saying. If this was an anime, I've been watching uh, Food Wars. This would be in slow motion. Oh my god. Masaka. He's whisking so good. Impossible. How does he do it so well? Ah! Are you impressed, Martin? Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Nice and even. No bits of flour in there. Just pure love. Okay. Actually, I should have heated up the pans while I did this. I forgot that. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm, I missed. Oh. Now with crepes, if they are a little lumpy, you can pass them through a sieve or a chinois. It's also a good idea to allow the mixture to rest for a little bit of time, a few hours. If you wanna make crepes quickly, you can make them immediately, but if you allow them to rest a little bit, it allows the flour to hydrate. And I think even Pobuku said, if you leave the mixture out in a warm place to rest, that it develops a little bit of a slight fermentation, which adds to the flavor. I probably put way too much butter in it, but I don't care. I don't eat this very often. Oh my God, we don't have a spatula. We have this. You will this, throw it this, away. You will this, literally this, throw it this, away. And we don't have a spatula. We used to have two. I wonder where they. Think. I throw away what we don't need. Stop. Stop. Ooh, temper, temper. Wow. <laughs> Are these hot? Okay, they're hot. Don't do that. That's not a good idea to put your hands directly on the cooking surface when it's hot. I can relate to this because anytime that I have any of my equipment in the kitchen that's either missing, it's not in the right place, or it's left in the sink and it's dirty, I'm not the happiest. I like to have everything in the kitchen organized and clean. Oh, I forgot the fan. I kind of don't want to put on the fan because it would be too loud. But just imagine, side editing fan noises. Spread out the butter throughout. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm making pancakes. You want to make sure that it's spread out evenly across so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Using real butter would be a lot better than using this stuff. And it also helps to leave it out so it's easier to use. And you want it this golden, golden fl uh, fl uh, fl uh, color. Yes, flugger, flugger. You want the golden flugger? Flugger, flugger? I'm gonna have to look up what he said because I have no idea. Give it another extra whisk, okay? And then you pour it, this is very important, pour from the center, make sure it's even, beautiful. I think I put too much. Ow, I hit my hand. God damn it, I'm making a mess. Oh God, this hurts. And then you do the same thing on the other one, perfect, yeah. It's a good idea to use a ladle because then you have more control over the mixture, the amount and everything else. And it's also important to have a flat bottom pan. If your pan is a little warped, 
um, you know, it's time to get a new one. And a lot of the saute pans here in Spain, the center tends to be a little raised and you can't have that. You need an actual flat bottom pan, a true flat bottom pan. These are not American pancakes. They're not supposed to be thick. But they're not thin like crepes even. Look at this bad boy. Oh. Now we build what we in Sweden call hot dog stove. Oh. oh, he's either watching Vikings or a 300. Now I'm not making fun of Vikings. I like the show as well. And I did do a DNA test a while ago. And I actually found out that I do have Scandinavian heritage, a little bit, mostly Dane and Norwegian. What are you doing? I do flower bits. Yeah, that's normal. That's extra flavor as we call it. A flower kick, we call that in Sweden. Mmm, got a bit of flour in my mouth. Let's see if my prediction is going to be right at the end. I say they're going to be a little burnt. And if they are, you should give the video a like. I always thought it was so cool when people flip the pancakes. Just a little bit more. I'm just so nervous. I mean, I'm not. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Hmm. Oh. No! Oh, I scared him. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Patience is the key of the mastering of Swedish pancakes. It's like watching a flower bloom in front of you. So if you do the recipe, two, two eggs, two flour, and four milk, that's for two people. If you want to increase the amount, you do three eggs, three flour, six milk, and then one more, four flour, four... You, yeah, you understand. Thank you. I don't know why I'm so dumb today. Usually happens after a heavy night of drinking, but if you want to make more of this recipe, just double it or triple it. Okay, you ready for the first flip? Mm -hmm. I think we're ready. Bada bing! Mm -hmm. Beautiful! I like mine a little browner. You like them lighter. Mm -hmm. So this will be yours. Thank you. They're Seattle. I know where Seattle is now, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's A, A, A. Don't worry, I can save this. Oh god, mm -mm -mm. oh god, what is happening? Oh. Doesn't this make you hungry? Mm -hmm. I bet chefs are watching this. How is he doing this? Yeah, chefs are watching this now. The pressure's on. For home pancakes, that's not that bad. But there are a few things that you could improve to make these, say, a little easier. Oh, I think this one is ready for a flip, flip. But this is my only good pancake. What if I mix it up? I'll eat it. Whoa! Woo! 360, baby! Intentional! Wah, 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 wah. That's how you know I'm a gamer. <laughs> Alright, it's ready. Bloop. A little thicker than I wanted. But... Ooh, it's got the crispiness. First pancake's a little dark on the other side. Pancake number three! Yeah! What is this one gonna look like? Mm, what is it gonna look like? What a nice kitchen. You see how nice, clean, and organized this is? This is nice. I like it. The only difficult thing about having like white cabinets and drawers and everything else is that after a while with dirty hands, you start to see, uh, well, marks on everything and you have to really clean the kitchen. You can only eat this for breakfast or lunch. If you eat this for dinner, there's something wrong with you. And when I was a kid at birthday parties, they would sometimes give us pancakes for, uh, for dinner. And I was always like, that's illegal. Ready? Boom! Mm. That looks good. Could be more symmetry. <laughs> but yeah, it's all right. This one looks okay. Could be a little more symmetrical, but if you're going to be rolling them, you won't see it. This other one though is smoking like a you know what. It may be burnt. I, I guess I'm gonna put you on this one. I'll put yours on this one and I'll put mine on the other one. How about that? Cause you want Nutella on yours, right? Mm -hmm. You put your own Nutella on there. <laughs> All right, we got another one. Bang! Oh, Ooh. what the hell? Are these not even? Don't show, I mean, look at that. So beautiful. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, <laughs> so even. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things that you have to be careful to see where the hot spot is in the pan. And uh, that is burnt. That's not, stop filming. That's normal. <laughs> what? It fluffs up. It's a ball in the middle. Yeah, there's balls inside. Just chop them. It's a Swedish cooking technique called Fleskapo for fun. This will be mine because I failed. Bam! Make sure they're round. Oh god. <laughs> it looks like a guy but hates his life. Ooh, that's beautiful. You want this one? Mm -hmm. Oh. Excuse me? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 
Nothing like a little bit of intimidation to change your mind. Notice how I open the jam? Not even a problem, bro. Spoon, fish, you bing bang bong, and you spread it across, like this. No Nutella, no stupid syrup, no stupid baby. And then you roll that mother flipper. You roll it, ooh. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. Mmm, kinda wanna eat it. Beautiful. Mmm, sweet pancakes. <clears throat> Beauty pie, you can do a better Oh, than that. Come on. Not all pancakes are shaped the same. Just like people. Bing bang bang. What? Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Like I'm doing your thing. A little burnt. But you know, that's life. Maybe, but life doesn't have to be full of burnt pancakes. There we have it, in all its glory. The Swedish pancakes. L look how much better mine look than mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you helped a bit with presentation. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> yeah, to me, the little bit of powdered sugar and the strawberries help a lot. Covers up the burnt spot. Also, you gotta have milk with it. Important, you can't drink water. <laughs> okay? Don't care if you're lactose and terrible, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, People don't care about your fake pancake. Is it good? First bite. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Damn, that's good. Delicious. Mm. Good job. Thank you. That takes me back, man. Swedish pancakes. You should try it. It ain't crepes. Mm. And it ain't American, but it's goddamn good. God damn it's so good. <laughs> I missed it. That's what I thought. It had been a little while since he last made these because he forgot the measurements. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Why does milk taste so good with pancakes? So good. Hey do. Hey hey. Overall, it doesn't look like a very difficult recipe. Although I would suggest to do a few little things. Passing the mixture through a sieve if you don't want it to be lumpy. This is one little tip. Using real butter to cook this, and that's of course you can't, and you have to substitute like he was doing. Using a ladle to help you pour the batter, and not cooking on high heat, taking your time to cook this. If any of you have made this recipe, then let me know down below on what do you like them with. Nutella, jam, a little bit of smoked salmon, something else. We recently made a review of Osmond Gold making his famous steak, and I honestly thought that he was going to react to that because he reacts to just about everyone reacting to that, and he still hasn't done it. Anyway, PewDiePie, if you ever do see this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I would love a reaction, a comment, or anything from you. It would be fantastic. You did do a good job, and if you maybe follow some of my little tips, it could be a little better, but at the end of the day, if you're happy with the results, that's all that matters. Don't forget to give the video a like, maybe a share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and check out the next video coming up here, and I will see you guys again very soon. Until then, take care. Gozándonos la vida es más que suficiente yeah. Claro